I was trying to I was trying to take my propane out of my heater and I looked on my screen and he was screaming up off a of bottom. That's the way you like it. Oh, oh, man. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Well, it has been a minute since I picked up a camera, but I am finally back in Wisconsin after spending some time in Minnesota with John. I am back on some home waters here in Green Bay, and what better way to do it than fish with Walleye Mafia, Troy Crosby. Troy, you got your makeup on? There he is. How's it going, Troy? All right, yourself? Pretty good. It's been a little while since we fished together. Yes, it was a little warmer then, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that was like October, wasn't it? Was it that late? I, no, well, maybe. We've been having a good bite around 10, 10 to about 11.30 or so, so. Hoping for the same thing today. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Buddy. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> if you guys are interested in fishing the Green Bay area, I will put Troy's information down below. Uh, he does a great job getting people on fish, and he's not afraid to teach you something while you're out here either. So I think that is the biggest thing when it comes to guiding. So I will put his information down below. But guys, stay tuned. We're gonna get on some walleyes. First fish are ready. It's a giant. Is it a giant? It's a giant. Oh no no. no. Max has got the first fish on. Literally seconds after I put the camera down. Oh, oh my god. I don't know. That is a giant dude. Oh my get, gosh. Get, get. Oh my yes! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy smokes. Max is shaking. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is a tank dude. Oh my god. That's my biggest through the ice. Oh. <laughs> oh man, wow. now I'm like catching a PB. A Holy cow, that's 28, 29. Wow, look at the stomach on that thing. Were you marking him, Max, or did yeah, he come out of nowhere? I told you I had a big one coming up to me and he sat there for almost five minutes chasing me and I got him five feet up and he just smacked it. No You could almost way. see him when he hit it. Oh Holy my God. cow. <laughs> what a beautiful fish, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That thing is a brute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is what I live for right there. Wow. Fills up that eight inch hole. Dude, <laughs> nice. Wow, that was Thank incredible. Thank you, Troy. <laughs> well, that was a great way to start the morning. Uh, Max hooked into an absolute brute of a walleye. We figured that thing was going about 29 inches and that was just insane. So, I'm marking a few fish here and there, but I'm gonna try and land one myself, but that Literally, I didn't even catch it and it has me shaking. That was insane. Feels decent. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's right there under the ice. I, dude, I just switched over to this thing too. I was trying to I was trying to take my propane out of my heater and I looked on my screen and he was screaming up off a of bottom. That's the way you like him. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that thing is freaking the camera massive. Going? Yeah, yeah, dude. Here it is. I'm going to go live. I'm so fucking nervous right now. <sighs> Get your head up here, buddy. I don't, I don't want to reach, buddy. Oh, don't pull up. Oh my god. Nope. That's too close. That hook's just fucking Yep, yep, you're good, you're good. Come on. Don't don't do anything excessive. Just wait, just wait there. Get him, get him, get him. Woo! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> oh, that thing man. is a freaking brute! <laughs> he came screaming up off a of bottom for that bait. I just switched over to that. I took uh I took that hair jig off and I put that what? shiver minnow. That, yeah, that's a shiver minnow. Now we're on our Facebook a lot. Oh my god, look at that fish! Wow, that is incredible. Well, this is the second fish all day for us. 
Third. 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 I got two. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this thing is a tank. Max caught the other tank. What do you think this one's going? You got a tape? Yeah, I got a bump. Oh, my God. Go on my, my hut and grab my bump there. That is insane. I was so nervous when he was coming up the hole. Like, he's <laughs> shaking and the hook started coming out. I'm like, no. That is awesome. Holy smokes. Nice job. Sweet. That's what I needed. Are you shaking? <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> shaking. <laughs> That was, I was just trying to tra change my propane Let's bottle. I'm freaking while I'm laughing. Let's get this puppy on the bomb. Right. Oh, come on. Yep. 27 and three quarters. Just under 28. That's my biggest walleye through the ice right nice. there. That's this, two PBs with walleye mafia today. That is my biggest, that is my biggest fish through the ice right there. 27 and three quarter. Wow. I couldn't be happier about that catch though. That is insane. Nice fish, buddy. Troy, uh, Troy does a great job getting some, uh, getting you on some fish, and uh, he also doesn't, uh, he isn't scared to teach you a little something too. So that's insane. I am gonna get this fish put back uh, because I want somebody else to enjoy that catch just like I did there. So nice. that is insane. All right, that is a tank of a walleye for sure. My biggest walleye through the ice, but I am gonna get this fish put back into the system here. So I'm gonna say goodbye. Hopefully he takes off all right. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> didn't even, <laughs> didn't no even stutter. <laughs> that was an awesome fish. Oh my god. I'm ready to do it again though. Let's go. I'm ready for somebody else to get one now. Let's do it. <laughs> I had just caught my personal best through the ice. That was 27 and 3 quarter. I just want to show you guys what I actually used to catch that fish. Um, because I was running a bunch of different things in my tackle box and I don't know if I just got lucky or what but I threw this here moonshine uh, shiver minnow on I tipped it with a minnow head just like that and almost immediately that fish was up coming after it I was actually messing around with my heater my prone payment was out and I was gonna put a new bottle in and I just happened to look down at my hummingbird and saw a big mark screaming up off the bottom and sure enough when I stood up my rod tip started going down the hole so sorry I didn't get the hook set, but I did turn the cameras on soon after that uh, fish took my bait and it was history from there, but that was absolutely insane. I was so nervous when that fish came up to the bottom of the hole and I actually, you can actually, the ice is clear enough where I can actually see them underneath the ice and that is even more um, heart wrenching than not being able to see them. But we got them through, uh, Max, thank you to Max for grabbing that fish out of the hole for me. We landed it and that was a giant. And that's exactly why we come out and ice fish Green Bay. So, oh, it'll be insane if we can get another fish like that today. Uh, it's really starting to snow now. We're supposed to get like 10 to 14 inches of snow today. And it's just starting to come down now. So it'll be an interesting afternoon, but we'll see if we can't put some more giants on the ice. Hey, Max, you gotta come tell everybody that we have the same birthday. He just randomly asked me when my birthday was, and I said September 15th, 1996. And he was like, no freaking way. We have the same we have the same birthday. Birthday buddy. Birthday buddies. <laughs> and we're the only two that caught a PB through the ice so far today. I mean, it, today is the day of the 1996 September 15th babies. I mean, <laughs> that was the day that walleye fishing changed forever. Exactly. That was, it was just that, it was just insane. Like, he randomly asked me when my birthday was. And I said September 15th, and he like started freaking out. Sure enough, we were born on the same day, almost the same time. We were born during the Packer game, and uh, we won. By the way, that was a good game. Doesn't get cooler than that. I just met him today, so I had, <laughs> I really, I didn't even. I mean, I knew who he was, but I never met him before, and we just got to talking. Sure enough, we got the same birthday. So, yeah, that's yeah. Cool. Let's go catch some more wallets, buddy. Let's do it. Hey, good job on that fish. Thanks, bud. Throw them all. <laughs> Hate when they do that. Look at that, one. Troy! Not bad yeah, one. buddy. God, a little fatty. Yeah. Nice. How did I block you? Look where you are <laughs> compared to where I was. What did I block you to? Nice I don't fish. know, but it worked. <laughs> Troy's like a statue. I knew I should have moved over here a long time ago. <laughs> I told you about that, what, an hour and a half ago I was going to move? Yeah. 23. 23. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. Fat. Fatties, they're fatties. 
swim, girl. Bye. Nice one. All right. I'm on the you board. finally got one. Finally. <laughs> Only took all day. Yeah. All right, guys. Before it gets too dark out, I do want to get this outro made. I got Troy in here. He is the one that runs Walleye Mafia Guide Service. Um, he is the one that brought me out here today. Just kind of to tag along with him, see if we couldn't ice some walleyes, and we did. We did. Got on a new PB. So if you guys are at all interested, if you guys are from the Green Bay area and interested in breaking your PB, I bet you Troy could do it. But Troy, I'm gonna let him talk about his rates, and if you want to get a hold of him to go, I'm gonna let him take it away. Um, right now, doing kind of a special uh, five hours uh, for a hundred bucks per person. And that includes everything, heated shack, rod, bait. Uh, the only thing that you'd really have to bring is a, a flasher, a uh, camera if you want, Vexlar. That and ice creepers, because we don't have a lot of snow, even though it's snowing right now, but um, definitely a good idea to have ice creepers. But other than that, um, it's something to eat and drink. Other than that, I pretty much supply everything. Um, right now, we're currently walking out to our spot, but we got some cold weather coming this weekend, so we should be able to, um, by next week, we should be able to drive out. Like I said previously with Fishing with Troy, he's a super great guy. He's really easy to get along with, and he's a lot of Thanks. fun to fish with. So if you are interested, hit him up. He'll take you out anywhere on the Green Bay, put you on some fish, whether it's in the spring, summer, or even the winter. So call him up, give him a call. Other than that, I am going to get out of here before it gets too dark out. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this video, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Have a good one, everybody.